praise the Lord, if you're on Team Jesus, if you're born again, washed in the blood, guys, we've got to stop sipping or drinking the haterade. We've got to stop drinking the drink that the devil wants to cause disunity, division, factions, schisms, schisms, excuse me. I'm seeing this rampant in the church, in the body of Christ, on social networks. You know, I don't even, I don't even post stuff on social networks anymore because I'm going to tell you why. Let me just give you a little insight. I'll post something, and the, the people of God start to come. They start to debate, and they want to be right, and want to get involved in little nonsensical of the splitting of hairs and swallowing mats. I'm like, I can't do this because I have a lot of friends that are unsaved on these social networks. And I'm not saying I hang out with them all the time, but they know of me. Even friends from high school that heard what happened to me when I came to the Christ that are rock and roll and metal bands and been serving Jesus over three decades radically. So what happens is it starts to confuse the world. And they start to say to myself, where's the love in the church? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to that. I'm going to get involved in that. I got enough of that in this world that I'm not at that. Uh, enough problems and schisms and fightings and debate and hatred and anger. And, and I want to get saved and come to Jesus and be part. They start to scratch their head. And, you know, John in John 17, I believe Jesus said, they shall know me by their love for one another. And love covers a multitude of sin. Now, listen, I'm not talking about building unity around the foundation that's other than the Christ. But I'm talking about when there's issues that aren't heaven or hell or eternal issues. The division is causing confusion in this hour. Now, the word division comes from the word dice, die. Two people with two different visions. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 25, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Or a house divided against itself cannot stand before the devil wants to cause a divorce. Die. He, he causes a separation. He separates the couple. And then he causes a divorce. And God doesn't want divorce not only in marriages in the church, but in his people. You know, the number one reason why people or brethren leave any church is because of the spirit of offense. My God, people, they say things, they do things, they quarrel, they gossip. And the Bible's clear. If someone's offended you, leave the altar. Ha! Ah, leave the altar. And go to your brother and say, hey, brother, you offended me. And then if he don't listen, take two or three. We've got to start to follow biblical protocol, guys. We've got to stop taking matters into our own hands and allowing that to be in God's hands. Hallelujah. So I'm thinking in Acts 2, it said when they were all in one place, one mind, and one accord. Acts chapter 2, the upper room, when Pentecost exploded and the Holy Ghost came after Jesus left the earth, was crucified, buried, resurrected, and ascended. He said, wait or tarry till, you're in, till, you're in, till you can be endowed or endued with power from on high. It said, one mind, one accord, one place. The hardest thing is to get a lot of people in unity. So that's why God has small camps and small local settings, because it's easier to get a few. Wherever two or three are in the midst, they're in unity, they're in agreement. I am there. Jesus is saying where there's disunity, I am not there. And the Bible talks about the anointing that flows from Aaron's beard. It said, when brethren dwell together, there and there's a unity. The anointing flows down from the Lord. You're never going to have the anointing unless you have unity. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about unity 
over foundational issues that aren't of the Lord or theology or doctrinal issues. I'm talking about unity, that we are of the Christ and of the Christ. And Father, let us stop drinking and sipping the haterade, the hate, the schisms, the fighting, the bickering, the gossip, even on the even in the Christian camps in the social networks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.